Success rates with uh, fresh embryos or frozen embryos nowadays are pretty much the same when we're speaking about blastocysts. And there is uh, emerging data that it's also um, saying that those are the consistent results. Therefore, uh, nowadays, uh, what we tend to do a lot of times is to use uh, frozen embryos instead of fresh embryos. On the other hand, especially when we're doing IVF with our own eggs, one of the hypotheses why maybe also success rates are a little bit better when we're transferring frozen embryos instead of fresh embryos is that all the uh, levels of estradiol are more natural, more, more similar to a natural cycle, even if we're doing a medicated one. And also that might impact on the expression of some genes that are related with the receptivity. Therefore, we should not be afraid of using frozen embryos instead of fresh embryos because nowadays success rates in terms of pregnancies are pretty much the same. And thanks to vitrification, that it's the technique that we use nowadays to freeze the embryos, uh, the survival rate of the embryos, if you are working in a, in a good lab, in a good clinic, are usually more than 95-98%. So that means that most of the embryos make it uh, to, the, to the thawing process, because obviously the criteria that are used to decide which are the embryos that are worth being frozen are very strict to try to maximize the chances that the embryos survive to the thawing process and that those embryos can give a pregnancy.